Hello and welcome to this video on using eggs to clear homebrew. Haze, yeast and suspension, and unfermented sugars all affect the appearance, taste and mouthfeel of your homebrew. This approach is especially useful if you wish to temper the phenolics or tannin in your wine. In some cases, it is unavoidable. In others, it is an unintended consequence. You could use aging or cold shock to remove the haze if you want to avoid adding anything to your brew. If you want to take the most efficient and effective approach, you can use commercial clearing agents, sometimes called fining agents. The balance between a natural brew and a technically and specifically refined brew is the use of eggs. This is also a traditional process in some winemaking regions. It is worth stating up front that this is not use of the egg in whole. You need to isolate the egg whites and not the egg yolk. The egg white is properly called albumin. It is 90% water and 10% protein. This is roughly 80% of the egg's total protein content. This part of the egg has another useful element and is called the calaisi. This is not part of the egg white but largely inseparable from the egg white. This element is visible as the white string-like parts you see. This overall is unlike the egg yolk, the bright yellow or orange component, which is a cholesterol and fat-rich part containing vitamins, minerals and other things essential for the development of the chick embryo. The difference is essentially one of protein concentration. This is also why you use the egg whites and not the egg yolk. The proteins are important. The egg whites have a complex protein content. This complex mixture of proteins are charged in various ways. These charged elements allow the proteins to bind with contaminants in your brew. This makes them heavier and they begin sinking. This separates your visual contaminants or your phenolics from the brew. You can then siphon off the remaining part. To use egg whites, you take them at a rate of 0.1 to 1 ml per litre of brew. Others use a general guide of 1 egg in 100 millilitres of water and put this into 4 litres of brew. Bear in mind that the egg whites make up half of the egg's liquid weight, and the measurement you use is dependent on your preference, trials and eggs. To prepare your egg white mixture, take the egg, separating the yolk out. Dissolve the egg whites in water. Just enough water to dissolve the egg and no more. Add a pinch of salt to this and stir with a fork or whisk. Do not mix with too much vigour or you will create an aerated mess that will not function. Pour this into your wash and stir gently. Again, being mindful not to aerate too much. You seal your vessel. Some suggest using an inert gas or CO2 to seal it. For the average home brewer, simply closing the container with an airtight seal is adequate. Leave this in a dark, cool place for several weeks, up to a month, but not for any longer due to contamination risk and the chances of the egg becoming fouled. Siphon this off after storing it for several weeks. You may need to repeat this process of racking and using egg whites several times, depending on how steady your hand is and how effective the process has been in removing unwanted compounds. If you are content with understanding what the basic process is, then this video is now complete for you, but if you want some of the more technical details, keep watching. Egg white proteins are positively charged overall. They bind with the negatively charged particles in solution. You will find that tannins and phenolics in particular carry a negative charge on the end of their molecule. Some of the more common targets for this, as a result, are the long phenolic chains. The proteins from the egg whites and the phenols form a mesh from all of this. 
This mesh loses its polarity, which makes it an inert mass. The egg whites and the phenolics sink to the bottom of the container and are unable to separate. The inert state also keeps the mass out of solution, as the salt is trapped within it. The reason you use table salt in your solution of egg whites is a little trick of chemistry. The sodium in table salt is important. When in combination with water, it helps to keep the albumin proteins in suspension. This allows interaction with the contaminants. Without salt, the albumin will not dissolve in water, and you'll again wind up with a mess. For these reasons, egg whites are only suitable for clearing washes at a reasonably low temperature. Too high and the proteins will denature. Too low and the chemical reaction will not occur correctly. Ideally, you are aiming for something around room temperature, or 20 degrees centigrade. Slightly lower if you are looking to store this for any extended period of time whilst the process of fining is completed. To summarize, egg whites are useful but limited to some of the more potent flavor compounds and yeast. If you find that egg whites do not solve your problems, consider using one of the other possible fining agents available. Egg whites have been used traditionally because they were effective for wine making. You will find regions that have a long history of wine making. We'll also have dishes rich in the use of egg yolk for this reason. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it interesting or useful, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, suggestions, or questions below.